All right, let's talk about balance sheets and the movies. So a lot of times whenever you hear balance sheets explained, it's explained in a really abstract way, right? So you might've heard it described as something that your company owns and owes. And you've probably heard these very abstract categories like assets, liabilities, owner's equity. What we're gonna do in this video is actually try to make some of those concepts a little bit more concrete by applying it to an example of a movie theater. And so what we're gonna do is actually talk through the asset section of the balance sheet which remember the asset section is really just a fancy way of saying what does the movie theater company what do they own what are all the assets that they have and let's kind of think through what are the asset categories that you would see on a balance sheet and would you expect it to be a big number a small number you know what would we expect to see for a cinema so the very first thing that you can see here with a cinema is actually the physical property right so when you go to the movies it's a building that building has a particular value and so that is what we would call p p and e property plan and equipment. And so that's likely to be one of the large dollar amounts that you would see on the balance sheet for a cinema because that costs quite a bit of money. In addition, you're going to see all of the furniture, all of the screens, all of those red chairs, all of that will also be included on the company's balance sheet because they're large fixed assets that the company owns. So again, these typically are getting categorized broadly under long-term assets, under furniture, equipment, property plan, and equipment. Now, no one goes to the movies without at least getting a little bit of popcorn or sometimes some promotional merchandise that sits there. So that you might see categorized as something that we call inventory. So kind of some of the, the extra candies that you see there or whenever you kind of walk in and you're seeing some of the different items that are being sold, that might be showing up as some of their inventory. And then finally, we kind of think through what are some other common categories you might see on the balance sheet? Well, one of the common categories you would see is something that we call accounts receivable. And that's usually whenever your customers owe money to you. And so we'll see that on a balance sheet on quite a few industries. But let's think about a movie theater. How often have you gone to the movie theater and just told them, I'll pay for my ticket, you know, 30 days from now? No, right? You have to pay immediately, even if you're paying by credit card, the cinema is getting its money right now. So the actual balance for accounts receivable is not likely to be as high because you're paying for the ticket immediately as compared to other industries where your customers have longer payment terms associated with them. Now, of course, there will be other assets sitting on a cinema's balance sheet. Pretty much every company is going to have some element of a cash balance. They may have some other, um, other types of items that you see on there. But hopefully this gives you a little bit of a flavor of the asset section of a balance sheet for a cinema so that you can kind of take those same ideas and apply them to your own business or other businesses that you're interacting with to try and make some of those concepts a little bit more concrete. So for more short snippets like this, be sure to subscribe to the Finance Learning Lab YouTube channel, where we're all about teaching small business owners everything they need to know about finance, accounting, and ultimately how they can bring more profitability into their small business.